the traitor Tassadar are to cease your resistance and surrender yourselves to the judgment of the Conclave. We will take the outlaw Zeratul into custody and deal with him as is written by the Kala's law. Flee back to your masters, Eldaris, and huddle with them in darkness, for your actions shall send us all unto the Zerg. Okay, what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... Uh, welcome to level 7 of the Protoss campaign in StarCraft 1 remastered version and uh, we are immediately under attack and immediately had to flee for our lives. We could take on those units with a couple of units that we had but it's generally just a better idea to retreat and just uh, recover from any losses. So, also to note, we have Phoenix Bag mentioned in the second or third level back then. That uh, farewell for now, Phoenix. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. He actually does come back as a Dragoon. It's one of the things about the Protoss. Instead of a Zealot just falling and staying dead. Instead, they keep on fighting as best as they can. So, um, yeah. Pretty awesome the Protoss can be, huh? Anyways, Phoenix is even stronger than before, 45 damage per shot, so he's a lot more durable too. And yeah, so the basics for this level are going to include fighting off against our own and uh, just getting our upgrades and all those things up and running ASAP. Luckily, we don't have to exactly destroy everything. We only need to do as much damage to the red Protoss as we possibly can and then the level will end. So before we can do that, of course, yeah, there's a lot of work to be done. This, this is not an easy level to play, to say the least. So you can see there's a lot of stuff that needs to be cleared out. We can send in our Dark Templar to go and deal with that force there in the middle, but we can also risk losing our Dark Templar. And I would prefer having them for defensive lines, to be honest. We need to go and claim this base over here, and once we do, they are going to do whatever they can to break the base down. And that's where our beloved Dark Templar come in to play and to help. They are going to be the ones that help us to fend off any attackers along with photon cannons on that side. Um, should be noted as well that they will send out their observers in order to go and deal with the Dark Templar, which is more the reason why we are just not going to send them onto the, the Vanguard. In any event, let's just get our basics up and running. Um, supply is looking really positive for us. Getting a bunch of scouts for this level is going to be a good idea because we will be taking down their air forces, but also raining hell on them from the top side, especially with their reavers. They will be annoying us a lot with reavers. And as you've seen the devastation that Reavers do uh, so, it's, it's just going to be a good idea to have some form of air to uh, deal with those mofos as time comes closer. There's also the Orange Protoss, be careful of them too. And yeah, nothing else to really say about this level just yet. We can use our Dark Templar to clear out Reavers too. Um, it, yeah, I, I actually didn't talk about the Dark Templar at all. They are incredibly strong. They are hard-hitting units. 45 damage per shot. They're not very durable though. No armor, no shield. Um, very low life and very low shield. Uh, um, that, that has been recharged up. So one solid hit from a Reaver usually brings them really low to life. It just kills them outright. Uh, be careful of that for sure. Other than that, no, we, we're gonna invest into the air upgrade. Scouts are gonna help us out a lot on that end. Build a couple of photon cannons over here if, for in case they do send out their scouts. Keep on making probes. We fortunately have a lot of um, resources banked up for us. So dealing with things for the time being is gonna be fairly easy. And yes, build up a couple of extra photon cannons here. They will, like I mentioned, send in reavers as well. You don't want to overcommit to making photon cannons because reavers take care of the fences really, really quickly. And it's for that reason why we're just gonna make enough in order to keep their forces at bay. Take out stray observers, of course. No need to really explain why. 
and let's go about clearing the way for us to get to our second expansion. We are gonna have to dispose of all of this. Not a pleasant idea, but it needs to be done. So we're just gonna combine our forces over here, and then go on the offensive. There's a couple of extras. Keep on making those probes. Let's see about doing some damage. Now, Phoenix, like I said, is pretty durable, but he is not invulnerable. So definitely make sure that you keep him alive. If his life gets too low, just pull him back. Zeratul is one of the strongest heroes in the game. Also not very high on life, but 100 damage per hit. So, uh, yeah, that, that definitely speaks for itself. Yeah, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. So, uh, we'll probably take down one. And in between, we're just gonna go and take care of these things. Keep the Dark Templar at the back. See if we can take down stragglers here and there. And then pull out once they start getting damage. You can see they, they dispose of, of um, these things very, very quickly. There we go. There is exactly the thing that I am worried about. Focus fire that that thing, and then we we should be fine from here on out. And we dispose of everything quickly. Okay, so this area has now been cleared for us. Start making our scouts, and uh, just send in our dark templar to go and explore the area for us. But so we can be sure that our probes will be able to move there safely. It will be done. Looking Time fine, looking do. good. Perfect. Okay, so now we're just going to keep that base alive with uh, the Dark Templar that we have and just keep their nonsense at bay. That's all. Pull it out with a couple of probes. Oh yeah, 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 we need to definitely get our um, tech up and running. Oh yeah, it's only... Oh man, we only have plus one for damage and stuff. That sucks. Ooh, goodness. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, um, careful. Definitely put Tassadar at the back then. We don't want to have to deal with any unexpected losses for absolutely no reason. From here on out, we are just gonna be building photon cannons and uh, we're gonna do our best to keep our stuff alive. Again, don't. You shouldn't really overcommit to doing this, but at the same time, uh, just build enough so that you can keep most of their nonsense at bay. If you want to be extra safe, you can. Send Zeratul here at the back. It's I, I would say it's a good idea actually because Zeratul dies so quickly. You don't again want to be like, oh, I'm making good progress. Oh goodness, I blocked off a probe. Um, oh man, I'm making such good progress, and then all of a sudden Zeratul dies, and you're back to square one. So definitely look after your heroes, that's for sure. Okay, as for everything else, yeah, so far so good. The scouts on two, everything else should be fine from here on out. Get this base saturated ASAP. All of the probes that we're making should be more than enough. And let's see, where did that observer about? Oh, there we go. Yeah, we need observers for sure. Archons will be pretty handy, but not the handiest of them all. So we are just rather gonna invest in. Oh yeah, yeah, they've got Arbiters, I forgot about that. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, Arch Archons are pretty decent, but their range is also very short. Just gonna be a better idea to stick to standard kind of units. Standard stuff, standard units. Okay, what do we have? We need more scouts. And... After that, investing into Reavers is gonna be just as good of an idea. Build a couple of gateways here at the front. Gives us an extra line of defense, but on top of it all, gives us the ability to make some units as well. 
I think we have too many probes now, to be honest. So yeah, these Dark Templar are gonna hang around here just for in case we have to take care of a Reaver or two without their scouting or their observers they won't be able to see anything in fact here we go exactly what I was afraid of oh this is <gasps> oh my goodness they actually had detection why do you know why do you know they actually had detection? Now, if we had zero tool in that spot, we would have been done for. Hence the reason why. We've got scouts. Scouts, as you can see, they are making quick work of this for us. Never mind those things, just box fire everything else. So we lost our Dark Templar. It's not the end of the world. No need to cry. Even though it is pretty sad. Just rebuild those defenses. Keep our heroes here at the back. Again. And I actually forgot about making another forge. Very, very important thing to invest into. Upgrades are looking fine. We have a lot of scouts now, but we can make some more. And let's go about making dragoons. The dragoons are gonna be helping out a lot with regards to taking down their reavers as well. I don't think we need anything else. Maybe yes, we need that for the observers. As you can see, observers are still important. Okay, um, this base here on the right side is gonna be our first target, but before we are actually gonna be dealing a lot of damage to this base, we need to... We need to break through all of these photon cannons, and that's where the reavers are gonna come into play. From here on out, I would say Phoenix is done for now. We we don't really need his... Well, the services are welcomed, but we don't need it at the moment anymore. Why? Because I am too concerned about running into more Reavers. And we just experienced, experienced four Reavers. And uh, Phoenix doesn't stand a chance, to say the least. We are going to be encountering a lot more Reavers than that. Okay. Uh, also, from here on out, what is basically going to happen is we're just going to keep on stocking on units. We'll be making small 12 group combined with the scout attacks. At the same time, making enough units in the back so that we never really run out of any units and give them too much time to build on what they have lost. Resources are looking good, but again, they are not unlimited. So, uh, as soon as we have at least one Reaver, we're gonna break this over here and then send in the scouts, or actually send in the main force. The scouts, unfortunately, are still on the slow side. We don't have access to a fleet beacon just yet, but we can still use these scouts to annoy them a lot. A little bit of micromanagement and we can actually do a ton of damage very early on. You can see we're making short work of most of their nonsense. Two more scouts. Our units are similarly upgraded. Change the location. We got smoking as much of their nonsense as we can. Yeah, scouts are generally not very good at attacking the ground, that's for sure. And from here on out, always having at least two reavers is gonna be a good idea. Like I said, they will definitely be sending out their own reavers, so just be on standby for when they do. Ah! Nice. Hold on. And one of the reasons why it's a good idea to have these units over here. Okay, so now that that has been cleared out, let's scan the area, make sure that they don't have any reavers that can give us a hard time. These 
these uh, reverse for anything on the ground is gonna be perfectly fine. Take down that Arbitar. Might lose that guy. My concern lies more with their own their own reverse. Like I said, we don't want to unnecessarily lose anything. Okay. Okay, if we lose a scout or two, it doesn't look like they have any reavers. Doesn't look like it at least. But we might still get a surprise. So many things to attend to. Yep, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Perfect. Keep on making units. Try not to lose the scouts. Actually, I want to make a slight change. Make these. Make the scouts number three because I keep on confusing them with the reavers for some reason. Okay, perfect. Send in one of our probes. I made a couple of these babies. And I've forgotten about upgrades again. Okay. Ow. 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 Woo, they're putting up a great fight, huh? I love it. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to pull back a bit over here. Make two more reavers. They're gonna be needed. Ah, those damn pistols and all those things. Meh. Keep on making those units. Whatever you do, keep on making those units. And they target that, of course. Yeah, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We'll be okay. We can lose these scouts, it's okay. Perfect. Send them in for the kill again. Here we go. Oh ho ho! Thank heavens we had our own scouts, huh? Scouts? Really? Oh, huh, I'm surprised. Okay, what we need to try and do is get rid of their um, robotics bay, wherever that might be. Ah, so there we go, in fact, found it. It'll be easier to just take down the pylon. Okay, we're making good progress. We claimed another base. Keep on watching. What about these defenses over here? 
don't think you really have to worry. They will be focusing a lot more on taking things down over here. Bit of a thing. Okay. Yeah, minerals are starting to run a little bit low. Oh no, no, I mean the mineral patches, not the, not our banked up minerals, of course. Okay, so we we have given them a big dent. So far, so good. And uh, start building our defenses here as well, ASAP. We rather put them back. There we go. Oh, carrier against these amount of scouts. <laughs> Not a chance. Not a chance in hell. Ow. I can say. Ow. Not nice of you, that's for sure. Okay, so now that this base has been cleared out, that means that we can go to the other bases. It's probably gonna take them a while before they actually let go. Um, I think as soon as we have cleared out the base, though, and uh, as soon as... Yeah, as soon as we stop triggering them, to put it that way, they will probably stop attacking us. So let's just wait a while, get this base up and running. We might still experience a couple of attacks from them. Uh, generally a good idea to have two on at a time. Reavers, of course, will quickly clear this out. So, uh, yeah. Okay, bring them here on out. Let's start moving over to the next base. Use our scouts to scout the area for us and prepare for the next attack. Ah, man, that sucked. Again, not a problem, really. So the banked up army that we have is gonna serve as a full-scale assault situation for us. It's gonna be glorious, to say the least. Still keep your heroes here at the back. Do not let them engage. Uh -huh. Just waiting for these to get over the force field thing that they put on. Okay. Anything to worry about? Nope, not really. I think this is where it ends. We're just gonna send in everything we have now. I'm not. I'm not even concerned about what they have because we we we've destroyed the primary raid base. From here on out, it's just picking off things like reavers. Oh no, they got another one. Yeah, yeah, it's done. And the level should end any minute now. Executor, 
Brothers, this madness must stop. The sight of my brethren slaughtering one another is more than I can stand. Though I fear you would doom us all, Alderis, I surrender myself to the Conclave. End Taro Adun, Executor. Don't give up the fight. Tassadar of the Templar, by your actions, you have severed yourself from the mercy of your brethren. You refuse to destroy the Terran worlds as was commanded. You have questioned time and time again the sacred will of the Conclave, and you have abandoned your home world in its darkest hour. Most grievous of all is that you have allied yourself with the blasphemous Dark Ones and learn to utilize their profane powers in tandem with our own. What say you, O fallen Templar? Eldaris, I submit myself to the Conclave's judgment. But know this, given the same choices again, I would surely have made them. I have sacrificed all that our world might live. I have sullied my honor. I have discarded my rank and standing. I have even broken our most ancient traditions. But never think that I would for one moment regret my actions. For I am Templar, and above all else, I have sworn to protect our homeworld till the end. A true proud warrior. So that brings the end of level 7 of the Protoss campaign. Only two more levels to go and then we are finally finished with the original StarCraft 1 campaign. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Refer to your friends who would like to learn some more about StarCraft. And of course, stay tuned for level 8 of the Protoss campaign. See you next time.